Okay, to round out this chapter, we've got this communicate the ideas. You have $15 and you spend seven. Write a subtraction statement for the money you have left. So if you start with 15 and you spend seven, you're not gaining money, you're losing money. So you can subtract seven. And then that will give you how much money you have left over. Uh, 15 minus seven is eight. This is a pretty straightforward question. Uh, the math isn't even anything new for you. But it's understanding the scenario that's important. So now you need to write an addition statement to express the money you have left. Well, if you've got 15 and you're having to do addition, you still want the number here to be 8. So, the difference between 15 and 8 is still 7, but you're having to do addition. So, what you can do is change this to a negative 7. So, 15 plus negative 7 still gives you an answer of 8. So, you still have $8 um, dollars left over. So, that's two ways to write the same situation and give you the same answer. One is with subtracting, one is with adding. But you know, if I change this to a positive 7, you know that subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. So either of those can be used to get you the same result. And that's all there is to it.